प्रसार भारती अभिलेखागार की प्रस्तुति सदा बहार सुनहरे दौर का अनमोल खजाना वेलकम टू ऑल आर व्यूअर्स इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड आल्सो ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड वो आर वाचिंग लाइव हियर फ्रॉम द रैंपार्ट एट द रेड फोर्ट इन दिल्ली द फ्लैग हॉस्टिंग सेरेमनी ऑन दिस इंडिपेंडेंस डे एंड द एड्रेस बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन अ शॉर्ट वाइल फ्रॉम नाउ इंडीड 50 ग्लोरियस इयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस एंड दैट्स द लोगो of the celebrations of the 50th year and the 50th anniversary of india's independence the ashok chakra 50 years and of course the colors of the tricolor lal qila below it the ramparts of the red fort in delhi the vast multitude of people who are here present live 18000 school children drawn from different schools of delhi of which about 3000 children are singing patriotic songs and will be singing the national anthem at the time of unfurling of the flag and behind them one can clearly see chandni chowk the essence in many ways representative of the secular character of india with the coexistence of so many religions peaceful coexistence the 14 buglers a top minarets on the red fort who sound out at regular intervals the proceedings of the day and announce the arrival of the prime minister a view of the vip enclosure on the ramparts 16 august 1947 with members of the cabinet members of parliament important dignitaries officials isi prachir se dhwajarohan kiya and also participants from the diplomatic corps representative of their countries presence on this important occasion this day of remembering our past or sacrifices and cherishing freedom cherishing 50 years of progress 50 years of establishing a free vibrant democratic india today is a day of other important events also during the day there will be the closing function of the golden jubilee of india's independence in the central hall of parliament which will also be telecast live on doordarshan's channel 1 2 and the international channel from 11:20 am onwards during the function the honorable president of india will be addressing the nation indeed the red fort looking rather beautiful washed clean there has been some rain over the last few days there was a mild drizzle in the morning also definitely overcast but uh, no rain or drizzle for the moment the new bell sounding them the other important function today will be the dra of freedom the march to millennium a public function at the rajpath which will also be telecast live from 8 pm onwards on all channels the message by the prime minister at 9:20 pm tonight the prime minister will be addressing the gathering at rajpath over to my colleague praful thank you nalin the beautiful sight of the fort the high walls and the buglers atop on the ramparts drawn from all the three services and this is the matter of pride and a moment of honor for these buglers you can see the naval the air force and the army buglers total 14 of them they herald the arrival of the prime minister and i bet the voice drifts to the beautiful monument of jama masjid as we can see right in front of us and this jama masjid was made by shah jahan in 1656 after 6 years of hard labor the people the workers everybody got together and created this beautiful monument this is one of those canopies atop on the ramparts the minarets these are the outposts during the days when the red fort was in all its glory and today's light breeze is nearly going to pick up and when it picks up we will see our national flag fluttering in all its majesty the fall beneath the ramparts 
used to be called the Sunheri Diwar, which was created by Aurangzeb. And here is again our beautiful tricolor, the saffron on top, the white in the center, and the green below, indicating well, uh, purity and sacrifice. I can hear the voice, the sounds of the buglers drifting. Thank you to the, they have heralded the arrival of the Prime Minister will be soon out here amongst us. And this is the scene of the crew, the camera crew, which is now focusing on the event. Many, many of today's Shah Jahan built this magnificent fort, and this is the scene of Lahori Gate from where the victorious troops used to enter. And today, it will be a symbolic gesture when the troops of Indian Armed Forces will present the Guard of Honor. The multitude of humanity and crowd in front of us admiring the Golden Chakra and the logo of the 50 years of independence beautifully laid out beneath the ramparts and for all of us to view. This is the Air Force contingent which is coming in. This will be all presenting the Guard of Honor. And today, Wing Commander P. Ranbir Singh will be commanding the overall Guard of Honor for Prime Minister. With this, I hand you over to Major Vinod. Thank you, Brafal. It is indeed a great honor and privilege for all of us here at the Red Fort to extend greetings to all our countrymen within and outside India on this great historic day, the day on which we complete 51 years of our independence. It has been a great year where celebrations have taken place all over the country. The dignitaries Waiting here, this uh, enclosure, waiting for the proceedings to begin. This live telecast comes to you alive on all channels of Doordarshan, not only in India, but around 50 countries abroad through the channels of DD International. 18,000 school children are gathered here. The National Guard will present the national salute drawn from the three services, Indian Navy, Indian Air Force and Army, and of course, Delhi Police as usual. The Red Fort in all its grandeur, as we've been telling you, it was built by Shah Jahan between 1639 and 1648. The magnificent red stone structure, the wall of 2.5 kilometers, and the 14 buglers atop those beautiful minarets. Now, such a familiar sight whenever we are here to celebrate the Independence Day. This is also the day when we had begun the Golden Jubilee celebrations of India's independence last year. To celebrate the freedom, which we now tend to take for granted but indeed was the aim and end of thousands of those great men and women who laid down their lives for the comforts and safety of ours. Lush green atmosphere here after the rains in Delhi last couple of days that have brought comfort to the Delhiites. It has been a very, very stiff summer and therefore this day is really comfortable. Chandni Chak in the background behind those multitudes of people who have gathered here to witness the celebration when Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee will be addressing the nation. Sri I.K. Gujral, the past Prime Ministers, you can now see Chandrasekhar Ji, Mr. Rao, former Prime Ministers here, Mr. Deva Gowda, Home Minister L.K. Advani Ji, and many others, all important, very important persons 
in this distinguished gallery. The celebrations of the Golden Jubilee of Independence uh, have been people's celebrations, just the way they should have been. The basic objective of these celebrations was to rekindle and revive a spirit of nationalism and patriotism. There have been launches of several new programs through this year, programs on welfare, ceremonies have been organized and a magnificent Chandni Chowk, a symbol of secular India, where we have representatives of all the different religions. As we all know, there is Guru Shankar Temple, Gauri Shankar Temple, Gurdwara Sis Ganj, the Gamba Jain Temple along with the world famous Charity Bird Hospital, Aris Samaj Mandir and that is of course Jama Masjid, the biggest mosque of India where about 25,000 people can offer their prayers on Eid and other such occasions. Jama Masjid built by Shah Jahan completed by Aurangzeb in fact and that is Gurdwara Sis Ganj in the background with this golden minarets, the Arya Samaj Mandir on your left and the Gamba Jain table along with the bird hospital in the foreground on your left. Somewhere down this lane is also the Baptist church, Bhagirath Mandir and also Sanchari Masjid which is in fact in, infamous for the Nadi Shah story but of course this is the, the Gamba Jain temple and the bird hospital along with it. To continue, Nalim. Thank you, Vinod. The Independence Day address of the Prime Minister is very important as major directions of the government and of the nation are announced by the Honourable Prime Minister. It's a day of introspection for every Indian, a day of remembering the sacrifices made in achieving our independence, a day of remembering the father of the nation, Bapu, Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi ji, the other leaders, so many national leaders who contributed immensely and selflessly laid down their lives. Those are children from, drawn from different schools of Delhi, a total of 18,000 children, as we mentioned earlier, making it down the Nitaji Subhash Chandra Bose Mark Road towards Red Fort. It's a day today when, in a way, one looks back at the achievements of this young yet vibrant country. A day when one gets to think about all those major achievements that have made India self-reliant in so many fields, be it in the area of food, which at one time was a shortage and today we are in a position that we are able to feed from our own internal production. The large population of India, industry where India has made tremendous growths, tremendous growths, absolutely self-reliant in many important heavy and infrastructure industries, right up to space with the launching of satellites, rockets, and now indigenous production of important defense equipment, a major achievement. One can clearly see the Yamuna slightly, visibility being slightly low today on account of the cloud cover, but that's a bridge running across the river Yamuna behind the Red Fort. In fact, the Red Fort uh, is at a height of about 18 meters facing the Yamuna and it's much higher on the other side about 33 meters as the children are filing in to take their respective places there are also children from the National Cadet Corps children from the blind school also early morning traffic just about picking up but being a national holiday definitely slightly lower than its usual hustle bustle what do you say Prafur? That's right. Uh, Nalin, I really wonder that during the time of uh, Mughals, 
how people Khush must have gone across without these bridges. And here are the children who have braved the morning weather. And they are so happy that the rains are over and the entire area is awash and very bright. And you can see the multitude of colors and, and the enthusiasm of the children uh, and lovely colors. And of course, the same goes for the spectators. And uh, most of them are, of course, discussing that uh, weather is now clear and they are waiting for the ceremony to begin and the various leaders who are sitting out here must have been must have attended a number of functions and they all have their own memories regarding this august function of 15th august and we have a number of security personnel armed forces officers and politicians foreign dignitaries everybody waiting for the ceremony to begin and of course the, we have uh, mrs sonia gandhi she is uh, waiting for the proceedings to start and the wind is going to pick up but with the humidity increasing you can see a number of spectators fanning themselves and a little blow of the wind will not only clear the visibility also but will put everybody at ease and the foreign personnel who are present out here uh, must be wondering as to the number of crowd which gathers at this ceremony. And most of them who are from Europe and all may not have seen so many people at one time. What do you think Alan, about that? Absolutely. As the VIP enclosure atop the ramparts where important people are awaiting the arrival of the Prime Minister. Yes, of course, he, he is very proud of his achievements and the nation is very proud of his achievements and Mr. Abdul Kalam is now conversing and he is uh, wonder what new technology he is going to uh, discuss. With that, I hand you over to Major Vinod. If you look back at those five decades Abdul Kalam sahab ke bagal view of the VIPs gallery here senior dignitaries politicians bureaucrats all waiting for the proceedings to begin a panoramic view yet again of the Chandni Chowk and multitudes of people waiting for the proceedings to begin in which we'll see Prime Minister Atul Bihari Vajpayee unfurling the tricolor on this historic day and then addressing the nation. The guards in front drawn from like Army, Navy, Air Force and Delhi Police along with much before we came on air, the, the bands you were seeing drawn earlier. from We've just got to a shot of the, information the Finance Minister conversation with Mr. and of course Srimati Information Srimati and Broadcasting Minister well, Sushma Swaraji. 3,000 of those children shared with everyone earlier this morning a wonderful repertoire of songs. They are all important people who guide the destiny of our and country. And they were all marked with a tremendous patriotic zeal. In the naval band you saw a little while ago with the 28 musicians, another view the national of the anthem. ministerial again, gallery, a view of the VVIP enclosure. Santosh Kumar Gangwarji, Minister of State in the background, to a probably rather awesome canvas that stretches Minister of State for Petroleum, horizon beyond the busy streets of Chandni Chowk into Barnala the skyline. You can view all the, the immediate environs, of course, of VIPs the and the who play their roles the in different forum, in different fora, guiding the destiny of the nation, as I mentioned a little while ago. In the capital is the closing function of the Golden Jubilee. Shri Atul Bihari Vajpayee is, in fact, the 13th individual from the to be the Prime World Minister Parliament. of this great this country. Function, and incidentally, KR President K. R. Narayanan is the 12th the President of India. Begins at and will be through these 50 years. Channel, if you look back at those uh, five decades, you'll find, let's say, the 50 47 to 50 was the run-up to the, the India's just with the destiny logo of the when the Republic of India was born on the Later 26th evening, of January 1950. The 50s, let's say, were the decade of hope 
on all three channels with Parker the Nangal ceremony of the golden jubilee which is began the proceedings at rajpath in new delhi of the golden jubilee of india of industrialization yet Trump's another view of chandni chowk during this function at 9:25 pm gurdwara sis ganj prime minister's message to the nation so we are smaj mandir significant events you will be joining us the hustle and bustle of chandni chowk is not yet seen because possibly all those people are normally they are here the saluting this base the, uh, the guard of honor is now ready for the arrival of the prime minister when the this guard of honor is drawn again from air force the navy the and the army salute when the prime and minister delhi arrives. police here at the saluting desk an inter services and delhi police guard which will the guard of honor will be presented by this uh, these contingents welcome commanded by squadron leader shailendra sharma squadron leader shailendra contingent from sharma. navy they are positioned at the lahore gate and an the air force guard and guard of delhi police a contingent of one officer two senior ncos and 22 men the naval contingent from their respective organizations army navy and air force another beautiful bakshi site picked up by a camera atop the ramparts of the red fort the prime minister will be received in a short while from now here at the red fort by raksha mantri Sri George Fernandez planned, as I'd mentioned a little earlier and the defense secretary pilots of the Mr Ajit Force. Kumar as of now we're told that he will also be introduced to the GOC Delhi area will be passing by major general city that we are going to be missing the impressive account of the skills grit precision and general concentration SK Awasthi by the pilots of the renowned Surya Kiran team but unfortunately also due to the at the ramparts the three chiefs will be receiving uh, the prime minister who as you know I the chief of air staff chief the chief marshal sk sarin and you see george fernandez ji and you see delhi area mr ajit kumar along with the defense secretary shri ajit kumar waiting for the prime minister general officer commanding delhi area to continue nalin sk avasthi in position now to receive the Thank honorable you, prime minister the defense minister mr george here. fernandes in conversation with the defense secretary and, and we do the see the prime minister skarkade coming down along the moat of the red fort towards the, the lahore gate where he is to be received along the tarmac the in a direction now the towards secretary. the lahore gate skarkade speeding um, along the red fort a short while ago the buglers are now announcing the arrival of the prime minister as the carcade moves just in front of the national guard those are the buglers at top of the minarets right on top of the red fort 14 of them announcing the arrival of the prime minister as the, the tricolor is flying indeed in this light wind mr atul bihari bajpayee here right of course the red, red fort will be beautifully lit up now at lahore gate where he will be received and as the other important buildings of the station car, will be any moment now the kaake drawing slowly to the place as the defense minister moves towards the vehicle to greet the honorable prime minister shri atal bihari bajpayee ji Prime Minister Mr. Atul Bihari Vajpayee, the Defence Minister, Mr. George Fernandes, the Defence Secretary, Defense Secretary, Mr. Ajit Kumar, and the Defence Secretary, Mr. Ajit Kumar, and the General Secretary Officer now Commanding the General Delhi, General Officer Commanding Delhi Area, Major General S K Awasthi. He is now being led towards the Prime Minister's Guard of Honor. Mr. Atul Bihari Vajpayee being escorted. Guard of Honor consisting of four junior now, officers and 96 men. He will be escorted from the Army, Navy, now. Air Force, and Delhi Police. The guard is being commanded by an Air Force officer, base. Squadron Leader Shailendra Sharma, and the Guard of Honor will give the chief. FP of Number One Squadron, Air Force. Prime Minister, climbing up the saluting days, getting ready to inspect the Guard of Honor.
The Guard Commander will now report to the Prime Minister. Squadron leader Shailendra Sharma ne anurodh kiya Pradhan Mantri ji se. Squadron Leader Shailendra Sharma requesting the Honourable Prime Minister for inspection of the Prime Minister's Guard Prime of Honour. Prime Minister will very shortly now inspect this inter-services and Delhi Police Guard. And now the Prime Minister will inspect the inter-services and Delhi Police Guard. To be heard any moment And one can now. hear very shortly the Air Force Band consisting of 30 musicians and will be conducted by Bandmaster Junior Warrant Officer Anthony Agusti. It will be a few minutes before Prime Minister Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee reaches In a few the minutes, the Honourable the Prime Minister, Shri Atal Bihari Vajpayee, will be Delhi proceeding to the top of the ramparts where he will be unfurling the national flag. As soon as he, he reaches course, the ramparts, he will be greeted lift. by the three And there he will be greeted by the three chiefs of the armed forces, Air Chief Marshal Satish Kumar Sareen, Admiral Vishnu Bhagwat and General Ved Prakash Malik. As the Prime Minister is being escorted by the General Officer Commanding Delhi Region, by colleague towards the lift and on his way to the ramparts. A short while ago, the Honorable Prime Minister had gone to Rajkat to pay homage to the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Prime Minister, proceeding to the rampart and we have a view of the Samadhi of the father of the nation. This reminds us of the supreme sacrifice of the father of the nation. Bapu for India. Prime Minister, now proceeding. This is the site of the Rajghat, where a little while ago, Prime Minister paid homage to the father of the nation. It was, of course, a rainy day, rainy morning today, but the rains had stopped. And the holy Samadhi of the father of the nation must have looked beautiful as we can see. Prime Minister, paying his homage. Indeed, the entire nation bows in reverence to the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. The eternal flame which burns out, burns constantly at the Samadhi reminds us of the flame of freedom. Yes, it is indeed a slippery ground very highly polished and the rains have made it slightly more slippery back to the red fort the magnificent walls the solid structure reminds us of various upheavals this fort must have seen but today it is the most august ceremony and indeed a day for all indians to be proud 15th august very shortly after the Prime Minister is introduced to the three chiefs, the service chiefs. Prime Minister uh, Atal Bihari Bajpayee Ji will unfurl the national flag and then we have the fly past as we have been waiting and we had not mentioned about it. We will have three Mi-17s which will fly from right to left. This is again uh, back to 
हर चुनौती से दो हाथ मैंने की प्लेस वेयर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज नाउ कम ऑफ द लिफ्ट एंड ही इज नाउ क्लाइमिंग ऑन टू द हिज डेस वेयर ही टेक अ सीट एंड बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू द थ्री सर्विस चीफ्स द व्यू ध्वजस्तंभ ऑफ प्रतीक्षा में सिंबल कुछ क्षण फ्रॉम द सारनाथ लॉयन देश के एंड विद दैट आई हैंड यू ओवर टू मेजर विनोद कृष्ण ध्वजारोहण करेंगे Well, then the Prime Minister has arrived at the ramparts, received by the three service chiefs, as we have been mentioning. And you see that arrival of the Prime Minister of the steps, escorted by GOC Delhi area Major General S K Awasthi. Flying Officer G R Anuradha. एक सात बज के इकतीस मिनट राष्ट्रीय ध्वज देश के ध्वज को सलामी देते गुलाब की पंखुड़ियों के वायुदूतों के रूप में ये एम आई जी सेवनटीन Proceeded from right to left, and here is the guard coming in, lining up, and we see now the famous Surya Kirans of the Indian Air Force trailing tricolour each aircraft trailing a colour each, and proceeding towards the red fort. They are coming from right to left, and here is. They are tricolour. The Kiran uh, Mark II aircraft are uh, indigenously built, and their the light is uh, aircraft the Indian Air Force. By HAL. The visibility was not very good. Otherwise, from, the uh, manoeuvre, the manoeuvre car carried out by the nine aircraft would have been three peeling off to the right, three aircraft peeling off to the left, and the centre three would have carried out a magnificent coup. But due to the low level of clouds, this could not be done. We look at. Air Force contingent, the Army con naval contingent, and the Army contingent coming in and lining up, and they will present a salute to the entire ceremony. These are the Army contingent coming in, the Army band, and this is indeed a proud moment for the armed forces to be presenting the salute at this on this day at this place. और प्यारे बच्चों अपने स्वतंत्रता की इक्यावनवी वर्षगांठ पर मेरी ओर से आप सबको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं देखते देखते आधी शताब्दी बीत गई लगता है कल की बात है पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू जी ने इसी स्थान पर पहली बार हमारा प्यारा तिरंगा नीले आसमान में फहराया था उसके बाद प्रत्येक स्वतंत्रता दिवस पर इस ऐतिहासिक लाल किले से राष्ट्रीय ध्वज फहराने की परंपरा चलती आ रही है मैंने कभी ये नहीं सोचा था कि यह सौभाग्य एक दिन मुझे भी मिलेगा एक गरीब स्कूल मास्टर के लड़के का 
धूल और धुएं से भरी बस्ती से उठकर लाल किले की प्राचीर तक पहुंचना और स्वतंत्रता के पावन पर्व पर तिरंगा फहराना ये भारतीय लोकतंत्र की शक्ति और क्षमता को उजागर करता है हम सब जानते हैं कि आज़ादी हमें सस्ते में नहीं मिली है एक तरफ महात्मा गांधी जी के नेतृत्व में आज़ादी के अहिंसात्मक आंदोलन में लाखों नर नारियों ने या कारावास में यातनाएं सहन की तो दूसरी ओर हजारों क्रांतिकारियों ने हंसते हंसते फांसी का तख्ता चूमकर अपने प्राणों का बलिदान दिया हमारी आज़ादी इन सभी ज्ञात अज्ञात शहीदों और स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों की देन है आइए हम सब मिलकर इनको अपनी हार्दिक श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करें और प्रतिज्ञा करें कि हम इस आज़ादी की रक्षा करेंगे भले इसके लिए सर्वस्व की आहुति क्यों न देना पड़े